To connect to the Wi-Fi of the camera, we have to first stop the actual recording. This is recording right now, automatically, as soon as I, as I turn on the switch. So I'm gonna stop the recording, press REC. It is stop the recording. That beep means that is not recording. Next step is to go inside the menu, then go down with the arrow until you find Wi-Fi right there. Select it. Select five years auto and then get out of the menu. There it goes. It's activating the Wi-Fi mod. And then if you change the name of the Wi-Fi and the password, it's gonna show up over here. In this case, this is a factory reset configuration. So it says 5G, Vyofo, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you haven't changed that, please go ahead and change it because otherwise any user close to your car is gonna be able to connect whenever the Wi-Fi is activated. So next step that I have to do is go inside the phone settings, look for the Wi-Fi connection, look for the name of your camera. In my case is 5G. In your case, it might be 5G by Ofo in the name of your car, Tacoma, T1, whatever the, your car is, it might be that name. Um, the, the screen goes black after a minute or so. Okay, so in my case, I'm gonna connect to this one. It's gonna ask for a password. Factory password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have to introduce your password. Select join, it's connected. Now I can go inside the Biofo app. I'm in there, connect to camera. Okay, this is a live view, it's recording. So I'm gonna stop the recording. Again, the noise, the beeping, it means that it's not recording. Okay, so now I'm gonna go inside the list and it's gonna show me the videos by date and it's always by pairs. For example, this one says 17 seconds, 102.44. This is the rear view. This is the front view, okay? Front view is gonna be bigger video storage than the rear view because the rear camera it's full high definition, whereas the front camera is 4K. Okay, so the next step is to um, download the video. So if I wanna down download this one, I can select one, two, and hit download. I don't recommend selecting many whenever you have a 4K camera because it's gonna take a long time to download. Uh, 4K video files are really big, okay? So in that case, if I want just one, I can select just one from here, okay, select. Or I can go inside the video. I can check first with a couple of fast forward. And if this is the video that I want, then I can hit download is downloading to my phone perfect so i already downloaded i'm on the live feed of the camera it's recording again by default the system is set up that if i stop the recording and i jump from one function to another one it starts recording automatically. So I don't forget to reset the camera to start recording, okay? So it's by default. For example, if I ha if I want to go inside the configuration, it doesn't let me, I guess. So it doesn't let me because it's recording. So I have to stop the recording. And then I can go inside the configuration. 
if I go out of the configuration and I turn off the car, next time that I turn it on, it's gonna go into automatically recording. That's pretty much it, that's all it takes.